Hello beautiful souls, thank you for joining me today for this DM to DF reading. I do hope you're all well and you're feeling good and you're excited because we're coming up to the weekend, we're nearly in the weekend and we are coming into April tomorrow as well. So it is exciting and we are receiving this new fresh energy um, and we are being so supported by what's going on with moon cycles and the planets as well at the moment. So. I do hope that you're feeling good, trusting yourself. So with this reading, I'm going to start with George's deck from Blue Eyes Tarot to see what's coming through. What is it that we need to know about the Divine Masculines and what is it they want to show and express to their Divine Feminines today? Nice, clear message. Right, so... Three flipped out under the tripod. I'm about to end a tough cycle. They're ending this tough cycle. Our union is happening because this tough cycle was ending. <laughs> and it has been tough. It's been very uncomfortable. Connect with me through meditation. Yeah, they're saying to you, connect with them. Have this quiet time and connect with them through meditation. And again, when your mind's quiet, you're in your truth. That is where your divine masculine is. And everything that you're experiencing, this tough cycle that's coming to an end, is all part of this union. It's your preparation to come into union. Your divine must is saying to you, our union is happening, however it seems to you. So let's see, I'm going to pick one more because those th three flipped. The are one, yeah. So awareness coming through, they know exactly what this relationship is. And they are very aware that you're, they're meant to be with you and that you are one. And they're very aware of that they've, they've been through this discomfort, this tough cycle. It's been very, very painful. But that's because they've been facing themselves, making peace with themselves. Because they want this union just as much as you. So if you, if you was doubting or fearing divine feminines... Your divine masculine is reassuring you of what you already know. Don't allow the chatter to take over. Do this meditation with your divine masculine because your union is happening and we are one. You are one. And at the bottom of the deck is I'm looking... Sorry, I'm taking responsibility towards our connection. Yeah, I'm taking responsibility towards our connection because I'm taking responsibility towards myself. And whatever you're doing for yourself, you're doing for your twin. So when the divine masculines are choosing themselves, they're choosing their divine feminine. So that's beautiful. So union is happening. Even if you feel as if you're so far away from it because of what's going on in the 3D, that's why you don't go by what's going on in the 3D. You go by what's going on within you, your inner compass, and go by what's, you know, the changes and the shifts that you've had. And, you know, the most important thing is, is for you to be focusing on yourself, Divine Feminines, because when you're focusing on yourself, you're you're giving to your divine masculine and through you giving to yourself you're giving to your divine masculine because you're one um you there is nothing for you to do there is nothing for you to fear about the physical person because you're dealing with yourself and when you're dealing with yourself taking responsibility of yourself and allowing yourself to move forwards in your life in your truth how you want to live your life trusting that knowing not having the doubt and the fear rule you Yes, you do experience doubt and fear, but it's about managing it and making peace with it and allowing it to flow through you, not getting absorbed in it. Just going through, you're going on with your life, having this relationship with yourself and with God. That is when you, you see results from the physical person. But the point is, it isn't about your divine mask and it isn't about the physical person. It's about a journey of self and it's a journey unconditional love and that's what you know you're returning to yourself um because you have been taken away from that from things that have been happening in life and um there has been a lot of darkness so this is all changing so let's see what's coming through a lot's coming through where they're wrong, around the wrong way. So I've been shuffling quite... I want to make passionate love to you, yeah. So they want to make love to you. 
So they're feeling this sacred love making energy. They're feeling it really strong. And this isn't always about the, the sexual physical act. This is about making passionate love to you by just being there, just sitting in silence, just being with you, loving you, supporting you, having conversations, whatever it is that you love to do with your divine masculine. That's making love. That's being passionate and it's pa passionate because it's coming from a place of truth. And yes, they are feeling hot. They are feeling this attraction, this pull towards you, want to make love to you. They don't want to do things the way that things were before. Um, they want it, they want this to be pure. They want this to be sacred lovemaking of who they truly are. Um, so you could be, you know, you could have already had this experience of making love with your divine masculine. And they want you to know that this is going to be so different. It's going to be passionate. It's going to be the truth of who I am. I'm going to be my, you know, the divine masculine, the sacred divine masculine, instead of maybe before it could have been very distorted and it just, you know, there was a lot of fear involved. It's going to be so different. And obviously, if you haven't made love and been intimate with your divine masculine, it's going to be amazing because they're, they're going to be um, their true authentic self. I want to show you, there you go. I want to show you my authentic self. There you go. You cannot make it up, guys. This is pure love. Yeah, this is pure love. And I want to show you this pure love by just being there for you. By holding your hands, by touching you, by doing the physical act also. And you, you know... It's, it is such a sacred physical act, making love, but it's been abused for such a long time because of the distortedness of the divine feminine and the divine masculine. Everything's got out of control. So actually, a lot of us, a lot of us haven't even actually made love, <laughs> passionate love, because it was so toxic, because we were just, we, we'd come away from who we truly are, pure love, unconditional love. So this is pure love. This is why it feels so different from anything you've ever experienced before because it's loving yourself. And when you're loving yourself, you, you get this response back. <laughs> you're open to receive this love because you're giving it to yourself. I want to run my fingers through your hair. Yeah, when we're making love, I want to run my fingers through your hair. Oh, that's so beautiful, isn't it? And I, I'm sorry I didn't speak my truth. So they do want to speak their truth. They want to open up. They want to show you their authentic self because they know that this love is pure and they purified themselves. And yeah, so they're feeling pretty, you know, hot and pa having this passion desire for the divine feminines. And they have these visualizations of running their fingers through your hair. And that isn't going to resonate with all of you because some of you haven't got um, long hair and some of you haven't got hair. So put it into your situation, how it resonates with you. But it's about the passion, desire that they're feeling and they want to be true to you. And whatever's happening right now, your union is happening. And, it, and the experiences that you're having right now is all part of you coming into union. You're creating inner union for yourself so you can have healthy union and this tough cycle is ending. And I know that that really annoys um, the, the ego. <laughs> it annoys the ego um, because it's like, what? We're always, you know, it always seems like we're saying transformation and we're going through this tough cycle, but we are all, it, always ending cycles and beginning new cycles. And recently, your divine mask is saying that this one's been a tough one <laughs> and it's coming to an end. Um, I can feel this shift within me. So connect with me through meditation, quiet that chatter. Um, and yeah, beautiful messages from your Divine Masculine, Divine Feminines. I do hope it resonates. I do hope it helps you understand what's going on with your Divine Masculine. And I do hope that it gives you more of a deeper understanding of what this Twin Flame journey is. And if you would like extra support on your Twin Flame journey, your spiritual journey, all the information about the services offer is in the description box down below. I do offer a phone consultation. 
to give you more support and give you a deeper understanding of what this journey is all about. And I do three different types of twin flame reading. So, and if you haven't subscribed already, don't forget to subscribe, like and share because it really does help my channel grow. And that's only if you feel connected to me and you understand me. And I'm sending you all so much love, my support, my strength and light. And I love you all so very much. See ya. Oh, what's your soul saying?